Welcome to the Petro Papers podcast. Say that 10 times fast. This is where you get your oil and gas intellectual stimulation by asking the technical questions. I'm Yoga Sri Pradhan, and with me here today, I have Armand Paradis from Combo Curve. Today, we're going to learn about Armand's career trajectory and also learn about how did he make it work. Welcome to the podcast, Armand. Appreciate it for having me. Thanks so much. Well, I was going to get right into it. So can you tell me a little bit about your background and uh, how you got here? Sure. So uh, all my background has been in the, has been in the energy space. Um, but I'm a petroleum engineer, with uh, but specifically a reservoir engineer. So a um, bachelor's and master's in the mainly reservoir engineering. And um, I worked uh, for Metairie Energy. And for three or four years right after graduation. And uh, so it was a small operator. I got familiar with all aspects of running an EMP. And uh, I worked there for uh, four years roughly. And um, and then I moved to Houston to work for Equinor and uh, start working for their US onshore assets, mainly Marcellus and Utica. And I worked there for two years, and then I left Equino to start a uh, combo care. Awesome. No, that's a very, it's a very fascinating background, Armand. I wanted to also ask you, uh, what was the idea or concept you proposed when founding Combo Curve? Uh, so yeah, so the Combo Curve, it started from my day-to-day -day job. So so I was a, I'm a reservoir engineer. So my job was to forecast um, volumes and uh, run economics and um, and and propose best areas to invest and uh, how how we complete our wells and the areas of opportunities and the evaluating the AFEs, evaluating basins. So um, so I was using uh, softwares like similar to Aries and uh, Enerside and Excel and Spotfire. So what I realized is, is a choppy workflow. We have to jump from one software to another software for part of the workflow. And each time you jump from one software to another software, you, you have to deal with a lot of conversions and uh, mismatching between the numbers. And uh, for example, in areas I was forecasting wells without even having access to the map. I didn't even know what the wells are located. I couldn't see wells with a similar completion design, similar area, similar landing zone, so I can stand, so I can learn from the other wells, so I can forecast my wells better. And um, and when I did the research and I figured Aries is the solution for the uh, most of the operators. And uh, and I figured there's a problem. So because it doesn't, I cannot do my job properly uh, with that software. It was so hard to use, uh, so cumbersome to to do the most basic analysis, which is forecasting on economics. It was very error prone to make mistakes, and uh, and I figured in today's day and age we deserve better tools and better software that makes us more efficient, so we can enjoy our day to day job. So. I don't suffer, go through uh, 10 years of learning uh, and then and still learning. So I, I, I don't want that. I want the learning curve to be much faster. And uh, so engineers can do the job and learn the software and can do the job a lot more effect effectively and efficiently and with access to a lot of visualizations and a lot of mapping and um, uh, capabilities uh, at their hand, instead of jumping from one software to Spotfire to figure out where the wells are located and just go back to another software. So yeah, so I saw it as a very, very big major, major issue in our industry. And I saw that as an opportunity to, to resolve it and solve it once and for all. That's awesome. I can, I smile a little bit because when you talked about Aries and that was definitely a learning curve for me. Yeah. So know that there is something much easier than Aries that can replace Aries is is a it, it's a breath a of, <laughs> it's a breath of fresh air for sure. 
Absolutely. You know, and and it was absolutely surprising to me that uh, that we're still using it. Like if you look at uh, all the other industries and um, it, it, the level of technology that they are using to manage such an important workflow. We use in Aries to make very important capital decisions. Yeah. We're talking about multi-million, multi-billion dollar decisions. We and we're using the software from 40, 50 years ago to make those decisions. It just doesn't make sense, you know. So um it doesn't even have a lot of functionality that we need into this day and age. Like things are a lot more complex these days. So uh so yeah, so definitely it was an issue, but we're making tremendous progress right now. We got huge amount of tractions above and beyond our expectations and uh and uh, we're making you're making great progress. Awesome. And and that's and that's a good news. So well, I was curious to know, you know, you identifying this gap, mm-hmm. coming up with a solution. How'd you make it work? How'd you make this successful? So um a lot of dedications and and also believing that this is the issue. Correct. So it's just uh, and obviously it was a very educated decision for me. I did my research and I figured a lot of people have issues using the software and it's not just me. And uh, and I did a full market research and I figured everybody one way or another dealing with uh, with Aries or PhD Vin and uh, and they're all having same same issues. They're dealing with lack of functionality, lack of speed, very manual process, lack of visualization. They are not designed for this modern unconventional analysis. And uh, you can't even do math analysis. You, you can handle, they can handle huge amounts of data. Today's, in today's energy, it's all about big data, correct? They can't even handle large counts of wells. Uh, so, and many, many other issues, uh, these softwares are not being maintained, correct? Like right now, we have a team of 60 software developers that constantly add in features and builds on vessels. So, so, yeah, so it was a very educated decision for me. Yeah, and um, and I knew uh, this is this is a problem, and I know, and I knew a lot of other people are complaining about it. So, uh, but I, but I knew it's a very very big complex project at the same time as well. So it's a multi, multi years project, and uh, and then and the industry has been very very receptive and uh, very cooperative with us, and which which is we can we can wish for better right now. Absolutely. So you noticed there was a gap, you noticed how to fill that gap, and there was a lot of feedback that came from the industry on how to make the product better as well. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen the case studies that were online, that were on the Combo Curve website, and they were very, it was very delightful to hear that there were multiple case studies, there was an improvement in production, there was a better efficiency in workflows. I I, I just want to say kudos to just all that hard work. Absolutely, definitely a lot of hard work. So it's been a dedication, and since two thousand seventeen, it's just mean it's been like non-stop working and uh, and and staying on top of things. So and uh, it is a very big project, but again, we we have a software that a lot of people love to use, and uh, but we we never stop improving it. So that's our goal. We want to constantly get feedback from the market and make it better, faster, and uh, also more bells and whistles. Absolutely. Well, I wanted to get an update from Convo Curve. If you give me the latest download on that, what have been mm-hmm. some of the more recent developments of the of the tool? So yeah, um, we we currently we're getting close to uh, 360, 70 clients, and. Uh, and all these clients, we were able to bring these clients in in the course of a almost two years post release of the product. So it's been a fantastic traction. We have we have all types of companies using our product. We have single man shop all the way to um, majors using our product. We have banks, auditors, and uh, and financial institutions and investors, mineral companies using our product. We even have midstream companies using our product, and uh, in terms of 
uh, what we are thinking and what we are adding, we, we recently added our uh, carbon forecasting and carbon planning feature because the, the market really needed a carbon solution. And uh, we added that and we integrate that with the rest of the workflow. Um, so that's, and also um, we are constantly looking to the areas to improve the A&D workflow. And because uh, these past two, three days, everybody's been focused on buying and selling a lot of assets and mergers and acquisitions. So, so currently as we are, we are very focused on improving the A&D workflow for most of our users. Awesome. So that's really exciting to hear. I'm always lo looking forward to the next update and how Combo Curve is getting bigger and better. And I've seen I've seen the team just grow quite a bit, just sitting on the sidelines. I've just seen the team grow and I've seen the tool grow and the applications grow. I mean, you all are touching multiple industries. So that's that's awesome. Yeah, definitely. So it's been exciting. So um past three years we grew from 30 full time right now. We are close to 120, 30 full time people. So it's been a quite a big growth. And um yeah, but we 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 make sure to keep to keep to keep the bars high for everybody, you know, constantly improving, constantly becoming better. So uh our goal is to be the best for at each department. So right now we have the best customer service I can claim in the world. Less than two minute response time with the engineer, sit on Zoom, make sure that uh, they listen to you and solve your problem. And but we want the same thing for all of all all the other departments. We want we want to be the best in the software development and uh, the best in the marketing and um, and the best in the uh, uh, basically all the other disciplines. You know, so so we always uh, keeping the bars high and pushing people to be more ambitious uh, with their goals. Excellent. Well, there's one more question I wanted to ask you before I let you go, and I think this question is pretty important because it's definitely been a disruptive technology and you've been awarded that most disruptive technology as well using Combo Curve. What are some things about Combo Curve that we've never seen before in the industry? Um, in terms of functionalities and uh, that is coming. Uh, so, right, our goal is obviously to constantly improve the speed and the performance of the software so we can handle more and more data. Um, that is one of the aspects that we constantly improve. The other aspects that we, we are improving and we are making a better, constantly improving the quality of the analysis and making them a lot better from the current existing softwares because accuracy matters. And, um, and being able to run a lot of analysis simultaneously and having a lot more control about uh, the access of those analysis and getting a lot of data prepared for basically all the big data analysis and artificial intelligence. So so that's that's one of the areas, again, we are exploring to see um, how we can add value to our clients by integrating some powerful artificial intelligence tools on top of their data. So. So these are, this is some of the long-term uh, plans that we have more like for the years to come. Awesome. Again, I'm really excited to know what the latest download is going to be in the future. And uh, I've, I've always wanted to play with Combo Curve quite a bit and mm -hmm. maybe in the future I will, but I'm, I'm looking forward to what, what, what comes in the future. So thank you so much for your time, Armand. Absolutely. Just just to catch up uh, the part that you said about the all the one test combo, okay, we have free certification and that anybody can sign up and get certified on combo care. So that's that's always available. Well perfect. I'm gonna go sign up for that right now. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So again, thank you so much for having me on your show. Well, folks, you heard it straight from Armand regarding Combo Curve and the latest developments, as well as how he made this work. This is Petro Papers, Yoga Shri Pradhan, and we're signing off.